So let's imagine that we have an object over here with a 5 Newton force acting upwards and a 5 Newton force acting downwards. Now in which direction could this object be moving? A. Upwards. B. Downwards. C. This object must be stationary. Or D. In any direction. And this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and choose an answer. And the correct answer is D in any direction. But how could this be? There are no forces acting in any other direction. There's only one force acting this way and then exactly the same force acting the opposite way. Surely there's got to be a force to maintain motion. Well, actually, this is one of the most common misconceptions that I would like to address here. In order to address this, let's imagine an ice hockey puck which has been hit by an ice hockey stick at a speed of, let's say, 5 meters per second, and this ice hockey puck is just sliding along this ice surface. For the purposes of this example, we're going to assume that there's no friction. In reality, there's a tiny bit of friction and also no air resistance, like so. Now, the only two forces acting on the ice hockey puck in this case will be the weight. So there's going to be the weight acting straight down. And also there's going to be the reaction force acting upwards. And those two forces are going to be equal and opposite. But yet the ice hockey puck is acting, um, is moving, excuse me, at constant velocity to the right because this is the constant velocity that it was originally moving at. Another example would be something like a space probe, so something like the Voyager which um, has recently left the solar system. The Voyager spacecraft actually has virtually no forces acting on it. It's very far away from any, um, from any gravitational objects, so it is coasting along at constant speed at some direction in, um, in, in just outside of the solar system. This property of objects to maintain their constant speed is known as inertia. And this is what Newton's first law deals with. Newton's first law says that an object will remain stationary or continue to move at a constant velocity. We were going to underline the word constant here because this is very, very important, unless it's acted upon by an external force. And um, this can be very, very counterintuitive. So this is why I wanted to um, address some of the most common problems with Newton's first law in this video. Hopefully this all makes sense. If there are any other questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you very much.